I think that we haven't had a five-day pullback since April. You've got rising rates, got the 10-year going up. I think this is healthy. I think this market could uh, correct here. We could see another down 5%. But echoing your previous guest uh, comments, uh, the economic conditions in the United States are very favorable. So, I mean, Ron, you've been bullish for a long time. Can you explain the action in financials? Why, why they aren't getting more of a benefit from this new world of rising rates? Well, the financials have had a huge run here as well. And, uh, and you know, you're seeing some tepid loan growth and some things that maybe don't completely square with uh, with what you're seeing uh, with rising rates. But, you know, the financials uh, are, are have pulled back. But again, I think they're going to be fine. I think the, the economy is going to be fine. This is a healthy, my message is this is a healthy correction, not the beginning of a bear market. My caution, what kills bull markets? They don't die of old age. They're killed by the Fed. I don't think we're in that range yet, but that's something you do have to watch. What, what's the kind of Fed rates or, or the 10-year or 30-year rate that does kill the bull market? Well, look, I think that PEs come in as the 10-year rises. Earnings have to keep up with it. Today, our equity risk premium, something I always look at, the yield minus the 10-year, uh, makes the 10-year becoming increasingly competitive with future equity returns. So, you know, if the 10-year would get to 350, 360 and earnings don't rise, very much. That could be the recipe for having a market not performing very well. But what we have to remember, absolutely have to remember, is that the United States with the fiscal policies, the tax policies, investment, a strong dollar, earnings here can surprise on the upside as well. So I wouldn't be getting overly concerned about what I believe is a healthy correction in this market. I'd be buying stocks after this is done. I think, though, I must say, you could see another 5% down from here. So everybody's using the term late cycle today, one of the most popular on the network. I wonder how you interpret that, because you see a very strong economy, I mean, and most of the data backs that up. Is this late cycle? And if so, what does that mean as far as when we hit a recession? Well, I think a lot of people do think late cycle. They don't. I personally believe that we, in many ways, had a recession in 2015-16 when industrial production uh, you know, was really almost recessionary levels. Uh, today, with the fiscal stimulus, with uh, unemployment, with the United States as strong as it is, I really see the next couple of years being very, very favorable. So I don't see it late cycle. I know that's been the popular word today. I think, again, normal correction. We do have corrections every once in a while. Let's have one now and just get on with it. Uh, in terms of what we're seeing around the rest of the world, does that concern you or, or should the U.S. be a little bit more insulated from negative news flow or, or negative moves in stock markets, whether it's in Asia or in, in Europe? Well, look, I do think it's a negative. I think the story at the beginning of the year was synchronized growth. The, I, the IMF was talking about the world growing in a synchronized manner. And I think the only one that's held up their end of the bargain on that is the United States. The rest of the world is in a correction, and I don't think we can turn a blind eye toward that at all. That may be one of the reasons we're getting a pullback, but I don't believe that it is the beginning of a bear market.